People infected with coronavirus, please share your experience. My foster daughter brought this virus from school and now we're all sick. For the first three days, I had intense chills. It felt like I was blowing my nose and coughing out razor blades. I kept drinking lots of water. Now it's been about a week and a half and the only symptoms left are a cough and a stuffy nose with thick green mucus coming out. Now I understand why this thing hits the elderly and weak so hard. I have pretty pronounced symptoms, headache, a scratchy throat, but the worst is the difficulty breathing. When I get through this crap, I'll definitely appreciate the ability to breathe deeply more, but overall, it's bearable for now. I feel terrible, but it's not deadly. It seems like a severe case of the flu. I'm only taking paracetamol for medicine. Right now, I'm lying in the hospital in isolation. There's suspicion that I might be the first case in our country to have caught the virus domestically. My daughter lives in the Lund University dormitory, Sweden. Her good friend, a corridor neighbor, became the first case in Sweden. He returned from Italy a week ago, entering the country through Copenhagen. Our health department didn't check him immediately, but only the next morning. Before the check, he felt perfectly fine and had interacted with a couple of people in the dorm. Eventually, the test came back positive. Both of those unfortunate individuals were put under a 14-day quarantine. The guy was immediately taken to the hospital. Two days later, his temperature spiked to 40 degrees Celsius, accompanied by a severe cough and chest tightness. He experienced chills, headache, vomiting, and diarrhea. I'm only 21 years old, and before this, I was in excellent shape and perfectly healthy. Right now, I'm undergoing respiratory procedures. Looking at the statistics, everything will most likely be fine. However, it feels like I'm about to die any moment. Then suddenly, everything becomes normal, and then it starts all over again. Ask this question along the way. Share your story if you have not yet contracted the coronavirus. Despite being infected with the coronavirus myself, I know one guy who hasn't fallen ill. I work as a nurse in a trauma hospital in Detroit. I swear, COVID arrived with us a week before they started writing about it. Several surgeons from our team fell ill with fever and difficulty breathing. They were diagnosed with the flu, but it's entirely possible that it's incorrect. There's not even a plan in our hospital on how to operate in these days. No testing rules are developed. For example, my wife works as an accountant, and even their company is considering remote work. But in our hospital, nobody cares. We continue to work as usual, until we physically can't anymore. I remember new rules came out. Gatherings of more than 20 people are not allowed. If our first case of COVID-19 is confirmed today, then all non-urgent surgeries at the hospital will be cancelled. I usually don't have health problems. It feels like a severe flu with a sore throat and difficulty breathing. Right now, I'm in complete isolation to avoid infecting others. It's been awful for about two weeks now. Initially, the symptoms were like a common cold, but they gradually worsened. My temperature rose and I lost my appetite. Yes, I got tested and it confirmed COVID-19. The first suspicion started appearing several weeks ago. I had to cancel all my trips. Currently, I'm in Boston. My best friend became one of the first 25 patients in Germany to recover from the virus. Since he's only 19, his symptoms were mild. He stayed home for two weeks and now he's back in action. Why was he tested if his symptoms were mild? Did he travel somewhere before this or come into contact with other sick people? A few weeks ago, he returned from a ski resort. I recently returned to the USA from Japan with cold-like symptoms. Our health department told me that I would only be tested if I had a cough and a fever. So there you have it. People are trying to find out if they're sick, but they're being turned away and they have to walk around without proper diagnosis. When I die right on my grave, I ordered Heineken, but they brought me Corona. Rip. Just now, a friend of my mother's passed away. She was over 50 and had some heart problems. Most likely, she got infected during a trip on the 20th. Remember that the incubation period can last up to two weeks, so the illness could have manifested much earlier. I'm 28, so I'm not in the high-risk group, but I can still tell you about my symptoms. I fell ill around 15 days ago, but I've only been at home for the last five because I couldn't get a test done before then. There are very few available here in southern Spain. It started off like a cold with a runny nose, which is why I didn't take it seriously at first. But then it got worse. On the fourth day, I started coughing. My throat hurt. I developed a wheeze, lost my appetite, my lymph nodes become swollen, and my muscles weakened, which was new to me. In the last few days, the most troubling symptom for me has been the painful and dry cough. My parents have the same symptoms. Today I downloaded the latest version of the McAfee antivirus. I hope that now I'm safe from any threats. 
two days ago. My uncle in Washington was diagnosed with coronavirus. He's around 70. He was placed in quarantine, but due to the nurses not knowing all the rules, they allowed my aunt to visit him. Now she's at home in self-isolation. According to the latest news, he's in stable condition, but he has pneumonia. I work in an ambulance in Tennessee. Two days ago, we transported a patient from one hospital to another who was confirmed to have COVID-19. Ask me how I'm feeling in two weeks. Here people write that only introverted homebodies are on Reddit, who by definition cannot get infected. But let's face the truth. The only ones who will survive are the North Koreans. My friend tested positive. She says the illness feels like a mild flu or a severe cold. She agreed to get tested only when it became known for sure that the person she had contact with also had coronavirus. In the time between contracting COVID-19 and receiving the test results, she managed to work several shifts at the bank, go to the gym, and the movies. Fortunately, I haven't had contact with her or my other friends lately. I'm one of the recovered cases. I had a high temperature for two days, felt unwell, slept a lot, and spent all my time watching Netflix. On the third day, I started feeling better. I'm 40 years old. A colleague of my dad returned from Northern Italy during the pandemic outbreak. Upon arrival, he was stopped at the airport. Now he's under house arrest, with six police officers taking turns guarding him. He's supposed to be taken to the hospital soon. The diagnosis has been confirmed. Now he definitely has COVID-19. One acquaintance was on a cruise with his wife and caught the coronavirus. Interestingly, his wife is fine. He said he had a fever and severe thirst for a couple of days. He drank a lot of water. Despite being over 60, he went through it without major issues. He didn't complain of any breathing problems. Interestingly, he was very surprised by this. He expected to have all the flu symptoms, cough, headache, stuffy nose, and so on. My uncle caught the coronavirus. Guys, this thing is much more serious than you think. He's 48 years old, and until recently, he was perfectly healthy. But now, he can't even breathe on his own. For the fourth day in a row, his life depends on a ventilator. Of course, he's unlikely to die. He should recover. But if there weren't enough ventilators available, the situation would be completely different. What scares me the most is the question, what will happen when this thing spreads even more? I work in a hospital myself, and I know that there simply aren't enough resources to connect everyone to a ventilator. So you mean to say he doesn't have any chronic conditions, but still needs ventilation? The news says it gets this bad only for the sick and elderly. No serious problems or harmful habits, he quit smoking in his early 20s. Behind closed doors, a briefing was held for doctors and nurses in our hospital, but I wasn't there because I'm just involved in supplies. Everyone was instructed not to tell anyone what was discussed there, and I know that several of my colleagues resigned afterward, presumably due to fear and safety concerns. The funny thing is that our state hasn't really been affected by this virus much yet, but many people are taking this issue too lightly. However, one nurse said that everything will be serious. Thanks to everyone for watching. Write in the comments. People infected with coronavirus, please share your experience. See you in the next episode.